my first bushcraft knife. Stay tuned. So I made some notes here, okay? Because what exactly is a bushcraft? The art of doing more with less, using nature's resources. Cool, hey, I like that. You know what, I'm outside a lot, um, damn near as much as possible. I love to go um, camping, you know, we go tent camping, not a camper, uh, but I don't really do any kind of alone stuff struggling out in the woods. Not that I don't want to, it's just I have a family and we do tent camping, but we also do trail walking, you know, where we go to lots of different forest preserves, so we're outside a lot. A knife would be a beautiful thing to have Sometimes you want more than just a folder, right? You want like a real knife. The answer to that is the Omega Slings Bushcraft Knife. I'm gonna give you a couple of specs here and a couple of little rundown things and we're gonna show you what um, what it's capable of and what I think it's, uh, why I think you should get it. It is a full tang knife. So you're gonna have metal going all the way through. Um, the blade, I should say. The sharp part, you know, I'm not a knife guy, guys, and maybe you're not either, but maybe you like to look at them, maybe you like to collect them, maybe you just really don't need to know all the ins and outs, but you may want to know a few things. So full tang, you got metal all the way through, front to back. This is 3 16th of an inch uh, wide, so, or thick, we should say, not wide, but thick. Um, so that is going to be a pretty hefty knife. Um, you can definitely do some chores with it. You can definitely get some work done with it. You can chop uh, a bush... Bushes, you can chop bushes in the bushcraft. Well, you can chop things, all right? So you can make stuff. Whittling if you want, but you could definitely, um, let's say you wanted to make some tent spikes or something, you could cut those, you could chop into there. If you want to start a fire and you had some big logs, you could do the old baton thing, you know, and maybe get a couple of uh, smaller pieces. Uh, what, are, what are the other buzzwords you can throw around? You can match stick, you can do the old match sticking, and then guess what? On the back, we have a 90 degree. So you can go ahead and spark too. You can chuck some sparks onto that fire and really get it going. So full tang is what this thing is all the way through. Handles, all right, the scales, I guess. Handle, scale, however you wanna say it. Scales are gonna be a wood grain uh, G10 and then they got red uh, liners. I love this handle. It's not round. Uh, it's definitely something, you grab a hold of it, it doesn't slip. I haven't soaked my hands in baby oil and, and, you know, seen if it slips out or not, but it definitely holds. It holds good. It holds tight. Your finger goes right into that little groove there, kind of locks in, so you're going to have a less of a chance of slipping and slicing your finger off. Overall, handle, function, looks beautiful. I've only had this for a few days, so I haven't really gotten to take it out and really, really put it through the works, but I did um, do a few different things with it just to try it out. I can tell you that I like the uh, the blade, okay? It's what they call a Scandinavian grind. And I, once again, don't know a whole lot about knives as far as the details. I've had them since I was a wee little tot. Uh, we've always had knives in our family. We've always fished. Uh, my dad and my brother hunted a little bit more than I did, but there's hunting in the family too. So, you know, firearms, uh, knives, even bows, uh, we were not, um, not unfamiliar with. So I've had plenty of knives, but to me, I didn't really give a rat's ass about what the grind was. I cared if it was sharp or not and whether it would do what I wanted it to do, whatever the task at hand was. So a lot of the times my knives weren't sharp. So I had to go and try and sharpen them and I didn't know what to do, the angles, blah, blah, bevels, yada, yada, whatever. But this one here, Scandinavian grind. From what I can learn about this or what I'm learning about this is that it appears that it's easier to retain an edge and easier to kind of maintain because of that long kind of edge. So you'll see it there, right? And yes, it's dirty already because I did use it. I've used it for a couple days now and uh, I love it. Fabulous, fabulous. So you'll see a little bit of dirt on there. But that long kind of grind there, right? That's a Scandinavian grind from what I can tell. Um, now, when you're I think you're, this one here, you're just going to have to like strop it here and there. You're not going to have to constantly be finicking with it. And that's why that, that uh, grind is what a lot of people are kind of going to nowadays. Uh, it seems to be kind of a popular grind for an all-around kind of knife. But this is a uh, 14C28N uh, stainless steel is what it's called. I also wrote down a few things about that because I can't remember. So, back to the paper. 
what I have learned is corrosion resistance outdoors, right? You're gonna be wet at some point if you're doing anything, any kind of work, um, unless you're in the desert, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Uh, so corrosion resistant plus uh, edge retention plus easy of sharpening plus, what the hell is that? Tough, I wrote down tough. It's tough, of course steel is tough, right? I think what that means is you can go through pretty hard materials and not have any issues with it. Ah, but now the bottom one. This is what I wrote down at the very bottom, right? Budget. Um, budget meaning affordable to a certain degree. Yes, you can go to Amazon and buy a $15 knife. Is it going to be good? Maybe. I don't know. I'd like to have a little bit more faith in what I'm buying, so I purchased from a source that I trust. This is a budget-friendly um, bushcraft knife that has all the qualities of a major name brand knife. Um, so... Why not? I'm gonna take the plunge and add it to my collection and I'm actually gonna use this one and it's gonna hopefully prove out to be very well. So far it is. So I'm sure you're gonna to wanna to know about the specs, right? So the blade from there to there, you know, the sharp, sharp pointy part is gonna be about four inches. Uh, overall length is about eight and three quarter. I had to write that down too. My old brain ain't remembering like it used to be. Uh, eight and three quarters is the total uh, length of this guy. So if you ask me, that is a good size. It fits your hands. There's not a big old part hanging out the bottom, uh, but there's also not, um, it doesn't just disappear. You know, if it was all the way up in there, you would probably wouldn't have any stability. So it fits all four fingers. <laughs> it fits all four fingers and uh, yeah, it gives you a nice tight feel. So. That is, uh, that's a wonderful thing too. Uh, weight, I want to say it was seven something ounces. Let's go look that up. 7.4 ounces. I was right. I, I knew it was seven something because, you know, I'm just a, a master at weighing things with my hands. Yeah, it feels about like 7.4 ounces. All right. So I think I've hit most of the bullet points that I wanted to hit here, right? So next. All right, so we have material, we have thickness, we have length, we have weight, we have my thoughts and my opinions. What's next? Well, you're gonna have to have somewhere to shove this thing, right? So let's talk about this sheath. This is made of Kydex. Um, you'll see Kydex used in a lot of different, um, ways. So I've seen it a lot in firearms, right? I've owned Kydex um, holsters for my firearms for years. I still prefer a nice leather holster in certain situations because they're prettier, um, but Kydex will not fail in my opinion. Heat will definitely destroy it, I guess. And if you really tried to break it, you could, but in your uh, on your waist, it's not gonna break just everyday use. Good, good holster here. And what I mean by good, good, nice and descriptive, isn't it? It's functional. So the belt clip, um, you know, I didn't measure that. Let's measure that. All right, what are most belts? Probably uh inch, two inches in thickness. So this one will accommodate uh, definitely a two inch belt for sure. I don't know the exact specs. It looks a little over two inches. You should have no problem. Your regular belt should fit this thing. That's something you got to consider. If you're going to put this around your damn waist and take it out and bush craft with it, or just use it, you're gonna want it to be comfortable. If not, you're gonna end up not wanting to carry it. So you're gonna be like, oh, well, that thing sucks because it doesn't fit on my belt and blah, blah, blah. This will. This one fit right on my belt and it was really easy to take on and off as far as once you snap it in, you hear a good snap around the belt, but then when you're trying to take it off, you just get your finger down in there and pull it out and the whole damn thing comes up. So it's super easy to get on and off. So if you're in and out of like, let's say your truck all the time or whatnot, and you don't wanna um, be sitting on this thing, you can pop it off and just dunk it on to, I don't know, your cup holder or whatever, and then pop it right back on. Easy on and off. Next, we have um, the actual fitment of the knife. So you get it right around there and then ooh, locks in. See, gets that nice lock. There, it's not like a super loud audible, but you'll know it's in there. There it goes. That's nice, that's super cool. So you have this ramp here and you push on it and you're, everything's right in place. So. If you just, you know, it's made for one hand use. So you're out there, you got something in your hand, the other parts on your hip, you pop it out and it's easy. Easy to find the uh, hole and get back in there. Overall, this is a great uh, holster. Doesn't come out this way. Um, so if you are 
Jesus, it really doesn't come out. I was expecting it to fall. <laughs> All right, so if you were, uh, let's say, wrestling a bear, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why you would be upside down dangling, but let's say you were out in the bush and you were upside down dangling, this thing is not coming out um, unless you want it to, but it's super easy. It, it's not, uh, you don't fight it coming out or going in. So excellent, excellent shape. Excellent, excellent holster. Let's talk about that. You can spin it sideways. So you can carry it that way. What is that, scout? Scout carry, so you can scout it. You can scout it like that, you can scout it like that. Look at that, all right. So you got multiple levels there of carrying. Carry it anywhere, any damn way you please. You can also raise and lower it. Wow, I've talked a lot about this uh, sheath for like five minutes, but it was well worth it, and I'm glad you stuck with me. Would I buy this knife again? Yes. Do I have any buyer's remorse? No. Will I put it through the test? Yes. Will it pass? I believe so. I totally forgot about like the slicing of this thing, all right? If you go out there and you are surviving in the bush and you stumble across a nice juicy tomato, wouldn't you wanna cut it? I don't know. You can make dinner with this thing too. I'm telling you, I, I, I like to laugh and joke guys. And I hope, you know, don't take any offense to this for uh, the creators of this, of this knife here. I love joking around and I am super, super happy about this knife. And seriously, this thing will handle anything you throw at it. It's uh, it's really, in my eyes, um, not, it's a great knife, and uh, you'll like it. And no, they did not pay me to say this. I know some of you think that. And yes, I did purchase this. This is not a paid advertisement, but I know good quality when I see it, and this is high-quality stuff. Plus, I forgot to mention this. Check that out. Oh, can you see it? Oh, look at that. Oh, focus. Come on, man. There you go. Look at that. Double, oh, focus, Jesus, there we go. Man, that's slick. So my hat is off to Mikey and Chuckin over at Omega Slings. Thank you guys, peace out, slice and dice.